AT&T Business has revamped their lineup of smartphone plans, including adding more hotspot data. Hi, I'm Jen with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and AT&T Business recently made some changes to their lineup of smartphone plans. Now, previously, they had three plans available. They had the Elite, Performance, and Starter plans. They have changed the names of these three, pl three plans. The top tier plan is now called Unlimited Premium. The mid tier is Unlimited Advanced, and the bottom plan is Unlimited Standard. The biggest change from the old plans to the new is the amount of mobile hotspot data. With the top tier premium plan, that plan now comes with 200 gigabytes of mobile hotspot data. And previously, the version of that plan, Unlimited Elite, only had 100 gigabytes, so they've basically doubled the amount of mobile hotspot data. And they did the same thing on the mid-tier plan. The now advanced plan went from having 50 gigabytes of mobile hotspot data to 100 gigabytes. On the bottom tier plan, the standard plan, um, that plan still comes with five gigabytes of mobile hotspot data like it did before. Um, also, all device that's all data that's on the device is unlimited. On the top tier premium plan, there is no network management. So all that data is going to be premium data. On the mid-tier plan, the advanced plan, that plan used to come with 50 gigabytes of premium data and then network management applied after that. But on this new version of the plan, this plan is always subject to network management, so there is no premium data. And if that's the same thing for the, the bottom tier plan, the standard plan, that plan also is all, always eligible for network management. Uh, the unlimited premium account also comes with seven international day passes, which means that any data that's available with the plan can be used in over 210 countries. And it also includes access to 19 Latin American countries. So with all these changes for the better, um, the AT&T actually, AT actually lowered the price by $5 per month on each plan. So the premium count is $80 per month, the advanced plan is $70 per month, and standard is $60 per month. And those prices do include any discounts that you would get for using paperless billing and auto pay. So with these changes, AT&T, their business accounts are now more in line with what both Verizon and T-Mobile are offering on the business side. Both of those carriers also have a top tier plan that comes with 200 gigabytes of mobile hotspot data. The Verizon plan is the same price at $80 per month. The T-Mobile one's a little bit more expensive at $95 per month, but that price does include all taxes and fees. Whereas with AT&T and Verizon, you pay taxes and fees on top of that base rate. And the other thing on the T-Mobile plan is that their top tier plan with 200 gigabytes of mobile hotspot data is only available for iPhones. So again, these are some good changes to these plans. It's nice to see that big chunk of mobile hotspot data available. The only catch, of course, is these are business plans, which means you have to set up a business account. Um, it's not necessarily too hard to do. The requirements are a little bit different with each carrier, but basically, even if you're an individual, you can set yourself up as a sole proprietor using a tax ID or a social security number, and then you should probably be able to get the plans that way if this is something that interests you. So we have a story written up with all the details, and you can find that on our website at rvmobileinternet.com. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.